um, starting at 2.30. So if you have specific questions about your student's account, um, I encourage you to go to the expo. There will be a number of counselors there to answer questions about your student's account. Um, your student must have turned in that FERPA form. You probably saw it this morning. Um, if it's not on file, the counselor will not be able to answer information specific to your student's account because they will not have permission to. The FERPA must be on file and you must know the four digit code. Um, so if, if you don't know what that four digit code, your student would have signed it to you just today. So text them, call them, find out what the code is because you're going to need that before the counselor can release information to you. Okay, is there any questions I can answer? divide it between all the fees and they pay it off. So if there's money left over, it's gonna come back to you either way. Does that make sense? Oh. Hi, Paul. Hey, Scott, uh, to give you a quick scenario, I did the FAFSA, me and my daughter. Well, we ended up putting my income on her, which she didn't, has never held a job, so mm -hmm. we screwed it up. But we redid it, mm -hmm. but I still don't know, you know what's going on with the darn thing. So, so we ended you, up, you know, getting, you know, I figured, you know, I had been working that much, we'd probably get a totally subsidized loan for her, but it was Has she been of, awarded yet, or no? I don't know, can I find that on the to-do list? You, you can find out at the expo if she's been awarded. So here's what will happen, if she is awarded, it's gonna look like you made twice as much money than you made, so your award is going What is it? Yeah. Um, so if your student is selected for verification, so anyone who fills out the FAFSA, there's a 30% chance of being selected. And it's basically the Department of Education's check and balance system to make sure people are accurately filling out the FAFSA. So it's a two page worksheet that you'll turn in and it's gonna verify your household size, ver verify your income, um, whether you receive SNAP benefits, whether you pay child support, they ask quite a few questions. And they're just trying to verify what you turn in against what you turned in on the FAFSA. And how long does that process? So that process, it depends. Right now, if your student turns it in, it takes about three weeks before someone reviews the documents. As we get closer to the fall semester and the volume of documents that come in increases, it can be up to six weeks. So I encourage you to check that to-do list because if there's a verification worksheet on there, you need to get that in as soon as possible. One more question, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, say, you know, mm -hmm. my situation gets fixed or I don't. She accepted whatever aid they gave us. Um, how does, you know, what, what do we just, how does the government bill us or does it just show you, here's what, you know, your 5,200 or whatever minus your millennium. How so, do you keep track of over the years? Of yes, that's yeah. a great question. They have a website called the National Student Loan Data System. Um, it keeps track of if your student's Pell Grant eligible, how much they've used over the years. It keeps track of if they've received loans, even if it's from different institutions over a large span of years, it keeps track of all of it on that website. And she can just log in at any time check it and it will say, you know, in 2014-15, you received 
$5,000 in the form of an unsubsidized loan. It will tell her who her loan servicer is. That's who she'll eventually have to make her um, repayment to. And then you guys just get it at the cashiers and she's ready yeah, for we just school. ship it off to the cashiers, correct. What was that website? Um, it's the National Student Loan Data System. The website is www.nslds.ed.gov. component is that verification worksheet. So section C of the worksheet, there's a column for student and there's a column for parent. On the student column, you'll mark the option that says, I did not work, I'm not required to file, I did not file. Once you turn in that worksheet with that option marked, that will fulfill that to-do list item because we know she won't have a transcript because she did not work. So the, the worksheet is the key component that's missing that will trigger us to remove that item. 